What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to Battleshock Wargaming Studio. I'm David, that's Mike, and today we're going to be playing Age of Sigmar. Michael, who's playing today? Today we're playing Stormcast Eternals versus Legion of the First Prince. I'm going to be taking Knights Excelsior, and what specifically are you doing? I'm going to be taking Legion of the First Prince. It's corn pop flavored. I've got three Bloodthirsters, I got Bellicor in there, I got some Flesh Hounds, and a couple Bloodletter units. It's going to be super duper fun. I'm kind of attrition, summony, uh, kind of mess with you type of army. And, and I have big hammers all day long. That's yeah, all I want. He's, he's trying to come in and obliterate, and I'm trying to kind of weather the storm. But I also have some tricks up my sleeve and some great damage units in my army. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please like and comment if you feel like doing so. Please share if you know other people that are into Age of Sigmar. We love new viewers on our channel. And if you feel so inclined, we appreciate people subscribing as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at the armies. All right, so here's my Legion of the First Prince army. I get a army-wide six-up ward. I can pass wounds from Bellicor uh, with a bodyguard rule. And they also have a cool summoning ability, which is super nice. So let's take a closer look at Bellicor. He has the Dark Master ability to stop things from happening, which is fun. He's a caster, and once again, he can pass his wounds off, which is great. Here we have a Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage. This is a guy with the big axe that does lots of mortal wounds if he rolls good dice. Right here we have another one. This is a Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage. He is going to have a Artifact Ruinous, or Armor of the Pack, so he can reroll his saves in melee. Then we've got my General, Wrath of Corn Bloodthirster. He's going to have Ruinous Aura, so if you're within eight of him, you have a five up ward instead of a six. Then I got a little Demon Prince here. He's got an ability to have charge and uh, run rolls from the opposing player, and he fights first in combat, which is fantastic. Alongside him is another one. They're both armed with swords, and they're going to be doing mortal wounds on sixes, which is really, really good. I like these guys. They're effective for their points cost. We've got some blood letters. I've got two units of 10 of these. They have the decapitating blow with their swords and they will help to take some of the wounds off of Bellicor. And then to round out my list, we've got us some flesh hounds. Fast attack, lots of little jaw bites and claws and they can unbind spells. So there you have it. There is my Legion of the First Prince Army. All right, guys, I'm going to be taking the Stormcast Eternals today. I'm bringing the Knights Excelsior today. Uh, so we're going to have a ton of Paladins, so let's get right into it. First up, we have Yendrasta. She's going to be vital for this because of her ability to res models. I have a lot of three wound models, and hopefully she's going to be having a lot of them stand back up. Next, I have my Warlord. That's the Lord Imperitan. He has the Arcane Tome. He's the Master of Magic, uh, and he's taking Unleash Thy Hatred. Uh, for his com man, holy command. I have three units of Annihilators with the Storm Shields. They're gonna be using that, un that Unleash Thy Hatred command trait. Then I have one unit of Annihilators with Meteoric Grand Hammers. They're gonna be coming down with Silence of the Storm and hopefully smashing something up with those big three damage hammers. I have a unit of Evocators today. Um, I just really like these guys. They kind of meet the theme of Paladins and I want to see what they can do. Next up, I have a unit of Praetors. Um, they're going to be making sure that Yendrasta stays alive so that she can keep resing Annihilators. That's the whole plan. And it wouldn't be a Stormcast list without these guys. We have some Vanguard Raptors with long strike crossbows. Uh, hopefully we can snipe out some of those Demon Princes so that we can make those charges. All right, guys, that's my Stormcast list. Let's see what mission we're playing today. Okay, so today's battle plan is going to be Feral Foray. In this battle plan, there are six objectives, three in each player's territory. Starting from the second battle round, you can pick an enemy objective that you control in their territory, and you can burn it to score an extra victory point. The objective is then removed from play, and you cannot raid more than one objective per turn. You also will score one victory point if you control one, two or more objectives, like most of the battle plans. You'll get two for your battle tactic, and then obviously we will have a grand strategy. My grand strategy is going to be Beastmaster. What did you pick for your grand strategy, Michael? 
uh, hold the line since I have all these annihilators as battle line. Yep, all your annihilators will be battle line, so that's a pretty good pick. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, walk us through how you deployed, starting with these blood letters over here. The blood letters are hiding behind the terrain. They are within six of that objective, so that objective is under control. Then next to them, I have one demon prince, which is in cover. And then next to him, he's got some big brothers, one bloodthirster of incessant rage, one wrath of corn bloodthirster, another bloodthirster of incessant rage. And in front of them, there's some little flesh hounds there. Bellacor is hiding in the back. He's within nine of both units of blood letters, so he'll get to use his bodyguard ability. And then off to the far right, we've got one more demon prince in cover and waiting to do stuff. So that's my deploy. Oh, and we've got one more little unit of blood letters there grabbing that other objective. All right, so walk me through your deploy here. Uh, so we have a unit of evocators. They're gonna be protecting the Lord Imperitant hanging out in the back. On the center point, I have a unit of Annihilators, the Praetors, and Yendrasta. And then my third point, I currently don't have anything on because I have four units in reserve. They are in a pile right there, hanging out in Azer, drinking whatever they serve up at the bars in Azer. All right, let's get started with this game, huh? All right, Wargamers, here we are, top of battle round one. We're gonna get into it, but before we do, you've seen the missions, you've seen the armies. Comment down below, who are you rooting for? Who do you think is gonna win this game? What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna say that we draw. A draw, everyone wins. No, I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm, I'm really nervous about Bellacor and how you've castled is really, really strong. Uh, I'm sitting over here contemplating how I'm gonna break through this castle. And I think you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, I'm nervous. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's going to take you a minute. It's a tough nut to crack, but you can do it. So you did decide to take the first turn. I'm going to go first. Because you were a two drop and I was a 50 drop. Yep. So uh, he's going to take the first turn. So command points wise, I've got three command points. Michael has two plus one for his Lord Imperitant. And Michael, what's your battle tactic going to be? I'm going to conquer and I'm going to take your point. Okay. Uh, in the so he's going to try to conquer this point over here. Yep. Uh, I only have the minimum number of models on it. I think I've got like one or two models on it just because uh, I needed to keep my castle together because I was hoping he'd go first. Hopefully that'll give me a double turn. With a double turn, I think I can hang. So that'll be good. Uh, cool, heroic action? Uh, heroic action, we're gonna try and get a command point with the Andrasta on four up. Nope. Okay, I'll try to get one with my demon prince that's on the flank where you're trying to steal my objective and I don't get it. Uh, we're gonna mystic shield with the Lord Imperitant onto the uh, Evocators. Goes off on a six. You were just out, sir. Just out. I am in on the Evocators, though. <clears throat> uh, the Evocators will empower. Okay, I'm plus two to unbind with my general, and it still goes off. So all they're right. empowered and they have Mystic Shield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're all juiced up with nobody to dance with. Excellent. What's next? Do you have any other hero phase stuff? That's it. We're going to get into movement. Coolest hero phase I've ever seen. Thanks. We'll be right back. All right, Michael, we're back from a pretty quick movement phase. Tell me what you did starting with the Imperita and the Evocators over here. It's evocators, man. It's evocative. It's evocative. Um, it gets the people going. They just did the shimmy to the, to the left. Okay. Shimmy and a slide. Cool. Um, what about over here, this pile of goodness? We're just line dancing. Everyone's just going to the left. Yeah, some juicy goodness. Some juicy goodness. Yep. And then uh, what's back here? Behind, oh, oh, they're so sneaky. Oh, there they are. Yeah. So yep. we've got some long straight crossbows hiding behind you, Drasta, like cowards. They're and then... the bravest men. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then we've got these guys. These are the real heroes right here. Look at them, they smash down right on the outside of my castle. They're mm -hmm. gonna steal that objective, hopefully. And they're gonna shoot. So when they hit the ground, they do impact hits with their lightning because they're coming from the sky, David. Yep, they're gonna show me the lightning. And we already pre-measured. It looks like these guys are going to hit the blood letters, the mm -hmm. demon prince, 
the bloodthirster of incensed rage and my uh, flesh hounds. Okay. Now I'm going to have ward saves for all of these guys. The bloodthirster and the hounds are going to have a five plus because they're wholly within eight of my general, and then the other ones are going to have a six plus. Nice. Okay, so let's start with three up on your letters. Okay, letters get hit. For, for mortals, there's three mortals. Six is to ignore. I ignore two of them. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, moving on down the line, let's go to the, the little demon prince. Hits. Okay. For one mortal. Five up, right? Uh, six up, so he takes it. And then flesh hounds. Okay. Three. Okay. Five ups. Suffer two wounds. All right, and then the insentient rage. Missed him. Missed him, okay, cool, sounds good. All right, so we're done with the impact hits. Now, let's take a look at these guys. Where did these fine gentlemen want to shoot? These raptors, so we'll fire uh, at him. Okay, I'm gonna do all out defense on my demon prince. Yeah. So he's plus two to his save, and he's also minus one to hit because he's within three inches of a unit. Okay, uh, we will all out attack. Okay, hitting on threes, these guys, the raptors trying to shoot my man in the castle. Okay, we've got a close up of the demon prince. He's contemplating his life right now as he sees bolts streaking across the sky. Uh, one miss, two mortals. Twos. Okay. Okay, so we've got four wounds at negative two. So he's got a three up save because he's plus two to a save. He fails two. So he takes four damage plus two mortal wounds. So I've got six ward saves to make on sixes. Uh, and I fail them all. So he's down to one wound. Okay, Michael. Michael's getting ready to charge his... Annihilators, he's got an eight inch charge. Seven. Uh, eight inch charge, here we go. There you go, he gets the eight. All right, so eight dice, four ups are mortals. Mm-hmm, smash it. Smashing for six mortal wounds into the blood letters. Yeah. I shrug none. So 10 attacks, three threes, and one, two, two damage, except we're nine excelsiors. Twos, twos. So it's gonna be twos twos because of Storm of Annihilation. Very nice. Here we go. Sixes, I can do it, Yahtzee. Unit's dead. Oh wait, hold on. Two, four, six, eight damage. On sixes. Okay, I just wanted to roll for Yahtzee one more time. Nice job, unit's dead. Michael made combat nice and easy. Nobody left to fight. No battle shock. So we're gonna snap onto the hero cam and we will let you know how many points he scored. Welcome back. Michael's turn is over. Michael, tell us how many points he scored. Uh, five points. So we hold one, we hold two, we hold more. Yep. And we completed our battle tactics, so that's five points. Stormcast Eternals. Yep. I lost one unit of blood letters, which is fine. I almost lost a demon prince. Thank goodness he was up on that terrain. Otherwise, he'd be dead right now. So, for my battle tactic, I am going to do conquer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to steal that objective back from you because that seems really easy. And for my heroic action, I'm going to do heroic recovery with my demon prince. He heals D3 for one. So he's up to two wounds. Okay. Uh, Yandrasta on a four up is going to get a command point. No command point for Yandrasta. Beautiful. Well, in my hero phase, I'm going to do blood slit ground with my demon prince that's on the other side of the battlefield. So that's one of my command points. Your run and charge rolls will be halved if you are within 18 inches of that demon prince. Yuck. I know you're not stoked on that, but you did crack open my castle on one side. Just so, a little bit. Yeah, I've got some summoning I can do at the end of the movement phase, but I have to roll three dice and I have to roll a 10 plus, so it may or may not happen. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and do some casting before I forget. Uh, let's do Mystic Shield with the Demon Prince, or I'm sorry, with Bellacor, onto the Demon Prince that's almost dead. Oh, okay. 
That goes off. Skullerfork seems like he's a really long ways away. He's super duper yeah. far. How about your evocators, are they in? I didn't even measure. They might be. Yes. Okay, cool. So you need an eight on dice to unbind. Evocators, I'm binding on an eight. Nope. Okay, Mystic Shield goes off. And then he's gonna charge up an arcane bolt. And that goes off with a seven. That's the end of my sweet, sweet hero phase. It was good. So yeah. let's go ahead and get into movement and we'll show you what we did. All right, David, walk us through what you got going on here. Okay, the first thing I did is I moved these flush hounds over here. So we've got a couple on this point. We're closing in with some bloodthirsters. We've got the incessant rage here behind the terrain. He's got an eight inch charge. We've got the general here uh, getting ready to swing over the terrain with his flail and his fire breath. And then we have Bellacor who is getting close to unleash a arcane bolt and maybe do a little bit of damage. And one thing that I forgot about is I need to summon. So I'm gonna try to summon right now. I'm gonna use the bloodthirster of incessant rage over there next to that empty objective. And he's gonna roll 3d6. On a 10 plus, I can summon a unit. And I rolled a 11. And I didn't roll any doubles or single or triples, so he doesn't take any mortal wounds. So we're gonna summon a unit of blood letters. Okay, complete. Now we can get into some shooting. The bloodthirster that is floating up here is going to do two attacks. The first one is a burning roar or a fire breath. Hell, hell fire breath is what it's called. On a two up, annihilators take D3. They do for two mortal wounds. Okay. And then he's going to swing with his flail. Three to hit. Three to wound. It's a wound. Minus one round. Three up safe. Failed it. Six damage. You said it never <laughs> happened. It happened just fine. <laughs> it doesn't ever happen. Yeah. They would explode, but they don't have any next to them to explode. Okay. Good stuff. You've fallen for the classic blunder. You, know, you have a longer charge. I do have a longer charge, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to just, at the beginning of the charge phase, I am going to unleash my arcane bolt on him. And he's going to take that last wound that he has. He just eats it. And just explode. Yeah. There you go. Perfect efficiency. Nailed it. Okay, I opened up my castle a little bit, but I did get conquer, and I have one and two objectives. So. We'll go ahead and snap onto the hero cam and we'll let you know how many points I got. All right, so eight damage from that, uh, that bloodthirster. He, he snip snapped him real fast. He wanted it, man. That uh, flail, three is three is minus one rend. If you punch it through, six flat damage. Yeah, was... I didn't think, I, I mean, all I needed was a three up. So that was super lucky, but uh, that way I didn't have to charge because I didn't really want to charge the bloodthirsters out of there anyway. I want to keep them bubbled up because they all have a five up ward right now. I mean, not this one that's over here, but the ones that are next to my general have a five up ward because of uh, Ruinous Aura, which is fantastic. Uh, so that's really good. For points, I scored hold one, hold two, not hold more because Michael has three and I have three. That's the benefit of taking the first turn we've noticed is you usually get a quick little jump on points, but if you play well, you know, hopefully you can make up for that gap. So. We're gonna get in the roll off, man. Let's do it. This is a good one either way. You yeah. Know? I feel I feel fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not. I, I didn't take a huge beating last time. I actually got back the unit that I lost, so my army is looking pretty good. And you lost one of your units that you don't care about. So. Yeah. Well, when I you, when you only have 25 models, like I kind of care about all of them. <laughs> yeah. <They're... laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so I mean, what I mean is, it's not the bad one. No. The, the roll. good ones. I mean. I'll roll. Okay. You break ties. And I rolled a six. You did roll a six. So, but you break ties. So are you going to take the turn? Uh, no, I'm going to let you have the turn. OK, you're going to let me have the turn. That's pretty smart. I can't do anything to you. Nope. So um, OK, uh, let's snap off for a quick second, because I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. So it is the top of battle round one, two. One, two. One, battle two. round two, baby. It's battle round two. Um, David had a nice long think, and he's gonna get into his turn, but before he does, what's your battle tactic? My battle tactic is going to be Savage Spearhead, and I'm just gonna get two units wholly within your territory. Right, because the territory is half the table, right? 
Right, the territory right. is half the table. So <clears throat> I have a lot of different ways to do that. And with Savage Spearhead, I can think during the movement phase a little bit because you don't have to pick two specific units. You just have to have two units in enemy territory at the end. That's good. Yes. So let's get into hero phase. I have two command points. You have three. I do. Plus one for your Imperitant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do heroic recovery on my Demon Prince again because it's funny. And he heals D3 again for two. So he's back to half health now. I'll go roll that dice, will you, or that wound marker. Will you think about what you want to do? Um, I would like to get a, a command point on a four up with the Andrasta. Nope. That's okay. You have more command points than you know what to do with, like mm -hmm. normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to use Blood Slit Ground with this Demon Prince right here. Right. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. I don't know why I'm rolling a dice. It just happens. So that's one of my command points gone. And uh, let's do some casting. I'm going to try to do Mystic Shield on this Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage. This is coming from Mr. Bellicor in the way back. Bellicor, right? he's my only caster. Okay. Yep. And it's a six. Yep. It goes off. He's not in, in, in no. range to unbind anymore. No. Okay, cool. And then uh, I'm going to do Master's Command, which allows him to pile in and fight if he dies. Nice. And that goes off with a nine. Cool. So he's juiced, he's ready to go. And that's the end of my hero phase. So we're gonna get into movement and I'm not gonna forget to summon and we'll show you what we did. All right, the Legion of the First Prince has moved up the table. David, tell us what you got going on here. Uh, I moved the Flesh Hounds, I moved and advanced them. They are just being annoying and being there for an unbind and being there to maybe snag an objective if I can clear the side of the board. Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage, standing right there. Uh, he's got a seven inch charge to either one of these targets. Really what I wanna do is get like an eight or a nine though, and then I can stay outside of Indrasta, outside of Unleash Hell range, or I can go over here and try to kill some Annihilators. But honestly, I'll probably go into the Praetors if I get a good roll, because um, the Praetors are easier to kill, so. The thing is, is I need to kill the whole unit, right, because Michael has this cool ability where he can just bring back a model to each unit uh, that's within 12 of her, which is every unit. Yeah, if you could let me show my cool ability. You know. I know, I know for, you want to show off your cool ability. For the viewers. I'll let you show <laughs> your cool ability where they all ignore battle shocks, and she has literally 15 abilities. That's nice. The other reason I want to stay outside of three of Indrasta is she debuffs monsters mm -hmm. that they've suffered 10 wounds, and I don't want that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's so, right. So uh, what's, uh, what Bell what's Bellacor doing? Bellacor is standing on that objective. He's goading you because he has two units that he can uh, pass his wounds off to. And uh, he's standing on that objective. I've got, I've got a Bloodthirster standing on every single objective. So I'm thinking I can get broken ranks with a monster. I can get monsters takeover. And they're not too far apart from each other. So if I need to converge on one point, I can get some attacks in. So just playing castle. There's obviously some holes in the castle now, but it's getting to the point to where Michael needs to bring some stuff out of reserve to deal with the monsters running across the board. So uh, this bloodthirster that is getting ready to charge is probably going to be a sacrificial lamb if he gets in, but hopefully he'll do some sweet, sweet damage before he dies. Also remember that I cast that he gets to pile in when he dies, and that's active until my next hero phase. So if Michael kills him next turn, he'll get to fight one more time and just go out in a blaze of glory. Okay, well, all that matters is the charges. So we're looking for a seven. We're looking for a seven. An eight would be ideal. Uh, I rolled a 10. How about a 10? Ten? 10's good. And that's all the charges. So I've completed my battle tactic already, unless he somehow takes down that Bloodthirster with the Halberdier guys, the Praetors. Um, so I'm in pretty good shape there. And I don't want to stomp because I don't want him to be able to pull away from me, so I have to pile in. Actually, I am going to stomp because he has a two inch range. So even if I do a sweet three mortal wounds, I'll still be within range. So let's do a stomp. Stomping on the Praetors. They get stomped, three oh. mortal wounds. And let's activate. I have five attacks. Mm -hmm. It's fours and twos. Okay. I'm re-rolling ones because Bloodthirsters of Incessant Rage, when they charge, get to re-roll ones. So currently it's 
fours, re-rolling ones, twos. What's the AP? Negative two. Well, all out, def all out defense. Okay, so you're on a three up save, or do they have three up saves? I, they have a base three up, so now we're, we're up to You have two up save. Okay, yeah. so you have a four up save. Okay, cool. Um, I'll all out attack with my last command point, because I'm going to be getting another one next turn and I'm not really too worried about passing Battleshock or anything because it's a demon army. So I am out of command points. Okay. So threes, re-rolling ones. And then we're looking for twos. If sixes come out right here, it does lots of mortal wounds. No so we'll see. No sixes. <sighs> so you've got three at negative two into the Praetors. I failed them all. 3d6 damage, 11 damage. Okay, they go. Uh, two of those Praetors were able to explode. Um, one can explode. Well, the one that died to the stomp could explode too. The one that died to the stomp was way out here. Oh, you did that one. Okay, never mind. So, so one, one can explode. One can explode. So one more will take. Okay, and then I have a six up drug. No, he takes it. He's down to 13 wounds. You promised me that I was going to get to save <laughs> I know, but I you, lied. You promised I'm me. a dirty Warhammer player, and I lied. My goal is to just kill one unit per turn. Shenanigans. Now he is super ready to die. He's like, bring it on. All right. Um, that's the end of the combat. I'm outside of three. So uh, did I steal your objective? Probably. I did. Uh, I have five on there and you have three. So... Let's go to the hero cam and score it up. Yeah, let's go to the hero cam and score it up. What'd you score this turn? Uh, that was a great turn, man. I scored six points. I have hold one, hold two, hold more, and I, I barely realized at the end of the combat that I had taken your objective because mm -hmm. my monster was worth five and you only had three uh, total on there. So that was really good. Uh, I gave Michael some solid advice off camera. I told him that he just needs to kill my bloodthirsters. That's, yeah. that's how you beat this army. You, yeah. just, you kill all three bloodthirsters and then you win. Um, so now it's gonna be his turn. Mm -hmm. And have you had a think? You know what you're gonna do for your battle tactic? Yeah, we're gonna have to try and do bring it down. Okay. And we're gonna have to try to bring down, not sure which one is better to try and bring down. Um, I'm gonna try and bring down that guy. This guy right here? Yep. Okay, sounds good. Uh, heroic action. Uh, heroic action, we will, we'll find us hour with the Andrasta. Okay, find us hour with the Andrasta, sounds good. I am going to, I have one command point, start a turn, so I'm not gonna try to get a command point. Let's, uh, Let's Finest Hour with, uh, with my guy. Okay. Because he still has Mystic Shield too. Mm -hmm. uh, so he'll do Finest Hour. And then um, I am going to do my Dark Master ability now. Oh. Which everybody always forgets about until you say it. Which I literally did. What and, terrible thing are you Dark Master? And I'm gonna pick the Raptors. Ugh. So I'm taking away some range from Michael. Hopefully, if he rolls a one or two, he can still shoot me. I'm taking away some range. So now he's got to try to pull more resources onto his battle tactic. Um, so that'll be fun. And uh, you got some casting. Did you see my body language? He's looking at me. I, I look at him and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, let's try. Let's try. That's not going to work. Let's do Mystic Shield here. Okay. Sounds good. On to the evocators that goes off. I'll try to unbind with the Flesh Hounds. Okay. I failed that. And then let's do Empower with the Evocators. There's a five? Uh, I don't know what Empower is. Is uh, it a six? Empower is a six. So, no, it doesn't go off. I was just curious. My general is far and wide. Okay. Any other things? Nope. That's all the hero stuff. We were going to show a cool thing, but you, uh, you killed the whole unit. So. Yeah, well, you know, every single combat, the unit getting attacked first has been deleted. Yes. So yeah. we are, this is like surgical strikes right here. Yeah, We're I've, like special ops Warhammer players. I've killed so. one, you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you killed some blood letters. I've killed one bloodhound so far. 
Yeah, one bloodhound. <laughs> and I have summoned two units of uh, blood letters back now. So I'm actually plus models from when I started, <laughs> which is fun. The cool thing, though, is I only have one more unit I can summon because I don't have any more blood letters in my collection after that. So. Yeah, you actually have to paint stuff. Yeah, I have pink horrors, <laughs> which is the more annoying thing to take, but I, I really like this corn build. It's surprisingly good. I'm having fun. Uh, all right, you have any other stuff to do for your hero phase? No, I feel like we've rambled enough. We should probably get in movement and, and get moving. Yeah, we just lost all of our viewers. <laughs> all right, let's move, baby. All right, Michael. Interesting move phase for you. Uh, let's go ahead and talk through your movement phase, starting with the evocators. So the evocators uh, just moved five. Okay, they move they five. Move five. Uh, if we can, it'd be nice to get a charge, but it's never going to happen. Yeah. I, it's actually completely impossible. It's impossible because it's impossible. this demon prince right here is making everything half its charge and run rolls. Correct. So we can talk about these guys. What happened here? Um, these guys being the annihilators, they moved four. They kind of shimmied to the left a little bit, and um, which caused the Bloodthirster to redeploy. He redeployed three, and then Yendrasta chased him down, and now she's three from him. Yep, so Yendrasta has a six inch charge. Unfortunately, the Annihilators are now too far away to complete their charge. Maybe on a 12, but we'll, we'll come to that road, uh, that bridge once we, whatever, whatever the saying is, I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> now remember well, the long strikes that are hiding like cowards behind the terrain here? They have been dark mastered, mm -hmm. so Michael needs to roll a dice. If he rolls a one or two, it's business as usual. However, if he rolls a three plus, then their minds go blank and they forget where they are and what they're doing. It's like crippling dementia all of a sudden. It's so. a good point, but point of order, the impact hits from the Annihilators right behind. The oh, dang it. Over. Yeah, I was like getting ahead of myself. So let's talk about these Annihilators yep. hiding in the trees. <clears throat> yep, so they uh, Scions of the Storm and then guided by Lightning from Lord Imperitant. Uh, so they're, they're within 10 of the Thurster, the Hounds, and Bellacor. Very nice. So you're going to do some hits. Yep. Okay. So on the Thurster, it hits. Okay. For three mortal, sir. Three mortal wounds. Easy. Sixes. I shrug one. Take two. On the hounds. Three more. Sixes. I take them all. On Bellacor. Two. This is to pass because they're okay. mortal wounds. I should have okay. said that. Bodyguard ability. I pass one and he takes one. Okay. He is not wholly within eight of the general, so he has a six up. He fails. And then the blood letters that are going to take it are within eight, so they've got a five up. And they take it. Fantastic. Okay. That was a pretty good splash. That was pretty good. Uh, you always do good with your mortal wounds, I feel like. I feel like I'm always taking three mortal wounds when it's a D3. It's because I pull out my weighted dice. Yeah. And you're like, ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, excellent. So we're done doing impact hits. Let's see if the raptors can remember how to shoot. Okay. This is, now we need ones and twos. Nope. Nope, they forgot. Okay, okay. that makes me happy. <clears throat> yeah, Drosta is gonna uh, throw her spear. Okay. Two hits. Yep. Twos and twos. Twos and twos. She's threes and twos on her sword. That's right, that's right. Okay. So All right. Wounds. Uh, run two, sir. Okay, I have my normal save because I am Finest Hour and Mystic Shield. <laughs> Roll the <a> six. <laughs> that, I did not just take a six and put it in the box. It actually bounced right off the camera when I threw it, which was hilarious. So anyway, um, okay, he saved it like a boss. And then we have a uh, little bit of shooting from the Lord Imperitant. He'll fire at the... Uh, Demon, Demon Prince? Prince. Okay. He'll swing that camera. All right, the Lord Imperitant on the bottom right there is going to shoot at the Demon Prince that's looming in the distance. Four shots. Threes and threes. Awesome. And threes. One. Okay. He's got, he's got a three-up save. He saved it. Good talk. Good times. Okay. Let's do some charges. Okay, where are you going to start? Um. Okay, so Annihilators are going to charge. They need a high charge because they're debuffed. Let's see where they go. That's an eight. Okay. It's not good enough for anything. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna spend a command point from the Lord Imperitant to reroll it. Okay. Another, so got nothing. Okay. Uh, Yandrasa needs a six. 
There's an eight. She gets it with an eight. So she can, she can charge four inches. <laughs> Not even messing with the flesh hounds. <clears throat> She's like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to be taking extra damage. Uh, the Annihilator's looking for a seven on... Yes, and they are out of range of blood slit ground, so they can just do it to it. And they get to reroll. Failed. Okay. Here we go. Failed. Okay, Annihilator, stand by. Okay, now we've got Indrasta. Mm -hmm. I've got monster actions. The first thing I shall do is roar at her. She be roared. Okay. That's a cool. That's a cool shot right there. So you draw some four attacks. She hits on threes. Uh, I can't all on attack. So hitting on threes. Everything hits. Of course, Wounds. everything hits. Wound on twos. Three wounds. Uh, Ren minus two, but you just. I'm plus two. You're plus two. Uh, I fail two. So I take six damage. Uh, yes. May I have two dice, please? I ignore one. So he's suffered eight, which means he's bottom tier. Because I have to add 10 to that. Because Indrasa has that really cool ability where she just debuffs me. So I'm not dead, but I'm not alive either. I'm in purgatory. <clears throat> Three attacks with the Great Axe of Corn. Still fours to hit, twos to wound, nay two rend, d6 damage. But now, if I roll a six to wound, it only does one mortal wound to every unit within eight. So, not as scary. He's not re-rolling ones because he did not charge. So we're looking at fours and ones because he did all out defense, or um, finest tower. Okay, hit with two. Doesn't he re-roll ones? No, because he didn't charge, unfortunately. Okay. okay. You got two saves, negative two. Uh, let's see, we're finest houred. So we're looking, we have a two up, so we'll go to a four. Kill them both. Uh, 2d6 damage. Eight damage. Uh, fours. Holy hot mess. Yeah, so I took two wounds. Yeah, she's, was, look how tough she is with her four up ward. Wow, I thought that she might take some serious damage I right thought there. She was, I thought she was done for. She took two wounds. She took two wounds. Okay, that's, uh, that's something. Okay, that was the first combat where things didn't die. Yeah, but important for you, that's the first combat where things didn't die. And that was <laughs> right. battle tactic, so. Right, right, that was a battle tactic. Well, that's what makes Legion of the First Prince kind of good is, you know, you can say no to things, which is fun. Okay, we're gonna snap off and we'll score Michael's points up. So David just got done with his turn. I mean, I got done with my turn. <laughs> and we're here to score it up. I scored two points. A mighty two points. A mighty two points. It and seemed... according to my calculations, that puts me at 10 and you at two. Okay, perfect. I'm losing really bad. <laughs> it's, See, it's okay. I'm used to losing really bad <laughs> when I play against Stormcast because they, wow, they're good. The score um, is 10 to seven. Yep. And I'm in a weird spot because I need the roll off so that I can do damage and get out of this situation. Mm -hmm. But if I lose the double turn, or if I would take the double turn, if I get it and take it, you burn one of my objectives and I'm... And your raptors are still debuffed. And my raptors are still debuffed. It, it puts me in so, such a weird spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really interesting. We're going to have to think about the this. The dice one. shall decide. I'm excited to roll it. I don't know oh. if Michael is. A five. Oh, you break ties. You break time, yeah, but man. I, I already rolled a six, so. I rolled a six. Okay, I don't know. I, I really want to go first. Um, but then he gets to remove one of my objectives. So we're going to think for a minute. It's a secret. And when we come back for the top of battle round three, we'll let you know what's going on. All right, everybody. We're back. Top of battle round three. So we had a little think. I'm going to give Michael the turn for a couple reasons. Reason number one, I can burn one of his objectives. So uh, I burn the objective that his evocators and that it, Lord Imperitant are standing on, which is one benefit. The other benefit is the Raptors continue to stay debuffed. And yeah, that's why I did it. And I still have all my buffs active, which is great. I've got the half charge run buff active. Uh, I've got Mystic Shield and Fight When I Die over here. So I'm in pretty good shape. So, Michael's going to go ahead and get into the top of battle round three with his Stormcast Eternals. What's your battle tactic? Um, <clears throat> aggressive expansionism. 
put two units wholly within your territory? Savage Spearhead. Savage Spearhead. Yep, he's going to do the Savage Spearhead. He's still got two units that are just in reserve, so that's easy. I have one unit in reserve. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep. One of them's already over yeah. there. Okay. These guys are dead. I understand now. I, okay, those are dead guys. I thought <laughs> you had another unit of Annihilators. Um, okay, cool. Yep, Savage, Savage Spearhead, easy peasy for the Stormcast Eternals. Heroic actions. <laughs> okay. Let's do Yendrosser on a four up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a command point. Okay. Uh, I have three command points. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to get another command point with my, uh, with my meaty man right here. Okay. Big meaty. Mm -hmm. Big meaty doesn't get one. Okay. Let's Thundershock. Thundershock with uh, the Lord of Heritage. Okay. Okay. Goes off on an eight. Okay. Uh, I'll try to unbind it with the flesh hounds. No. Okay. So everything within 18 is minus one to wound. It has to go off though. Right. Uh, the flesh hounds and the bloodthirster on this side of the board are safe. You definitely get the demon prince. And then you get these guys here, the blood letters. All right. So three up, blood letters. They're shocked. They're shocked. They're Demon, thunderstruck. Demon Prince. Shocked. Shocked. Uh, flesh Hounds, not shocked. And that was it, right? Uh, flesh Hounds are actually out. Yep, that's it. Okay. Okay. Noise. You shocked both of them. Uh, we will empower with the evocators. Okay. Goes off on a nine. I am going to see if my general is within 30 now. I think he is. Generally speaking, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Generally speaking. Ha ha! I see what you did there. You rolled a nine? Yeah. I'm plus two to unbind with my rune crown of corn. <laughs> no. Goes off. Not good enough. What did you do? Empower? I empowered them. Okay, but they're not Mystic Shield anymore. Nope. Okay. Nope. Good stuff. That's it. Let's move into the movement. We'll be back to show you Michael's massive, mighty movement phase. All right, Michael, we're back from your mighty movement phase. Tell me what you did. Uh, so we moved the Lord Imperitant over so he could go cap that point so that David doesn't summon a unit on it. That's our only point left. Uh, the Evocators continued to just shimmy forward. <laughs> They're working their way forward five inches at a time. On the other side of the terrain here, what do we got? Uh, the Annihilators moved up. They are four inches away from the Demon Prince, which means they're looking for an eight inch charge. Okay, in the background here, the behind background, the penumbral engine. The raptors are still uh, Dark Master. Yep. Um, so they're going to see if they can remember to shoot here in a second. One cool thing that I want to note about that is the penumbral engine is painted with the exact same colors as them. So it almost looks like they're chameleons, which is funny because they're snipers. It's like they're trying to blend in. They're so sneaky. Yeah, they're so, so sneaky. If only they could shoot. And then Indrasta. Andrasta is staring down the Demon Prince. Yep, epic battle still going on here. Love it. Okay. And then... And last, but not least... We have dose units of Annihilators. Um, they're getting ready to do some splash damage and then hopefully make some charges on Bellicor. Yep, and now Michael just earlier rolled the splash damage. He did one mortal wound to Bellacor and three to the blood letters behind him. And then I passed the one wound off that went on to Bellacor with a four up, rolling a six. So now I've got four saves to make, my ward saves on the blood letters. And they're wholly within eight of the general who is standing on the other side of the terrain there. So I've got four, I'm sorry, four saves, ward saves on fives. Uh, save two, fail two. So two guys go down. Splash damage complete. What's next? Uh, let's swing the camera and see if the raptors remember how to shoot. Come on, guys. You can do it. Nope. They cannot do it. Okay. Y Yandrosta is going to chuck her spear. Okay. And she always remembers what she's doing because yeah, she's up. not an idiot and she two, hits. Two up. Oh, I don't know where that went. Two up. Okay, <laughs> it wounds. Uh, I'm plus one to my save, you're negative two red. Correct. So five, I saved it. Nice. Okay. All right, it's charge o'clock everybody. All right, we're gonna try to get these annihilators in. You might just do like 15 mortal wounds just charging. So who's gonna go first? Let's start here. Okay. Uh, 
That's an eight. That's an eight. That gets you in. Okay, Michael just got in with his annihilators. We're gonna have some splash damage on Bellacore. Eight dice. Eight dice. Looking for fours. There's three mortals. Okay, I'm gonna try to pass them on a four up to my minions. minions. I pass two and I take one. So the one that Bellacore takes, six up to ignore, he ignores it. And then the two that go to the minions, five up, and they fail them both. Okay, okay splash damage complete. Now look at this, look at here. We've got another unit getting ready to charge. That's a five, so we're gonna do a reroll now. Okay, they get to reroll for free. <laughs> and that's an 11. <laughs> they go wherever they want. Okay, getting absolutely swarmed by annihilators here. These guys were cheeky and rolled an 11 inch charge. So 11 dice, mortal wounds on fours. Four. Okay, we've got five mortal wounds. I'm gonna to try to pass those to my minions. I pass four of them to my minions. Six up to ignore Bellacores. He doesn't ignore it, he takes a wound. And then five up to ignore on the minions. They ignore three and one guy dies. Wow, that was really good. Oh yeah. Now we're on to the debuff charge over here. Now Michael needs to roll a eight to charge with the annihilators and then He's got a 10 to charge with the evocators. Look for it. Eight. Nope. Uh, let's do, let's spend a command point. Uh, yeah, let's do Indrasa. Indrasa uses her command point. Reroll charge. Nope, didn't get it. It's a six, okay. Let's try with the evocators. No rerolls now. I'm looking for a 10, right? Mm-hmm. That's an eight. So. so close. Oh, now you get the eight, Now we right? get the eight. Okay. And that's it. That's all the charges. Okay, so getting into monstrous actions, I'm gonna roar at Indrasta. So on a three up, she can't take any commands. And that goes off. And then Bellacor over here is going to stomp. He's gonna stomp on the Grand Hammers. That goes off. <laughs> For two mortal wounds. Don't worry, they're all alive. You made me so nervous. <laughs> okay, so one of them takes two mortal wounds and then uh, Michael's free to activate. I am going at the top of the combat phase. I'm going to use a command point to let my blood thirster over here fight top tier. Right, so at the start of combat phase, we're going to storm of annihilation on the annihilators with the shields. So this unit of annihilators right here is mm -hmm. going to be plus one to hit and plus one to wound. So that puts the shield boys on twos and twos. And then the hammer bros are threes and twos for now. And we're gonna use our one of our two command points to all out attack with the hammers, and we're gonna start with them. Okay, hammers are on twos and twos. We've got 10 attacks. Only one two. Very good. Only one one. Only one one. More. Very good. Eight at minus two. Uh, I ignore rend because I'm a dark master and I don't care about how sharp weapons are, so I'm on fours. Uh, I saved four. This is exactly math. Yep, I failed four, mm -hmm. which is 12 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if I pass that damage off to my minions. Okay. And this gets passed on a three up? Uh, four up. Okay. And I'm gonna pick this unit right here. Okay. They're also holy with an eight but there's only four models left in that other unit, so I wanna make sure that I'm passing to a unit that doesn't get obliterated. So on fours. Okay, so that many pass to that unit. Then they've got their five up ward because they're holy with the aid of the general. And they save two, so seven damage. And then Bellacor took three of those wounds and he fails them all, so he suffered five wounds. I will fight with the big boy over there. Five attacks. He's top tier. Um, thank you. Uh, it's gonna be fours and twos. No re-rolling of any kind. Hit with four. And wound with four. Four at negative two and doing drasta. Uh. 
I was gonna all out defense, but I forgot because of this. No, that's okay. You can all out defense. I know. He's over there manning the camera. Uh, okay. Uh, it was Ren what? Two. Okay, so I failed them all. Okay, it's 46 damage. Take <laughs> take 19 damage. <laughs> let's see, let's see your ward saves save you from that. 19 damage. Let's you can just see take your, a let's see your god now. <laughs> you can just take a whole tray and uh, and roll it. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, actually, she only died by two wounds. <laughs> so she explodes. Let's see if she brings uh, brings the pain back on the bloodthirster. Nope, not a wound. Okay. Removes the model. Is that your Indrasta or my Indrasta? Oh, that that's that's the silver armor. That one's fine. Yeah. The wings, your wings look better than my wings do. I was petty there. I wanted petty vengeance. I should have, if I was smart, I should have fought uh, into those annihilators, but it is no, what it is. I don't think, I think you did the right one. You, I, did I do what you would have done? Yeah. Okay. And these guys need to pile in if you want to fight with all of them, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Twos and twos. Might need to roll my, uh, my wound pass off ability separately because I'm running out of minions to pass my wounds to. Did you give them three extra attacks? Why? Oh, I thought you did Unleash Thy Hatred. You did the other thing, Storm yeah. of Annihilation. Okay, never mind. I was like, no, I'm not cheating. <laughs> Fours. Okay, he shrugs three, and then he takes six damage. Six damage. Then he passes on a four. He passes half of them. I'm gonna put it on the three man that's behind the terrain. They shrug one. So two guys die. And then he takes three and he shrugs not a one. So he is down to, he's taken eight wounds. So he's down to six wounds, I think. I think he has 16 wounds, 14 wounds, 14 wounds. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, I Bellicor need a, gets to snip snap some guys. So he's mid tier because he suffered eight. So he has six attacks with his blade of shadows. And then his spearing tail now wounds on a three instead of a one. And then his spell claw is always the same. Are you going to put all of these into the meteoric? Everything into the grands, yeah. Because one meteoric is already down to one wound. I don't know where that wound marker. That's what that was. I, this wound marker was like out here, and I had no idea what it was, so I picked it up. But I remember I stomped these guys, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did two wounds to him. Okay. Six attacks with the fell claw. Threes and threes. No, six attacks with the blade of shadows. Threes and threes. Okay, make four saves. Negative two into the grand hammers. All of Bellicor's attacks are going into the grand hammers. Yep. Uh, but we're looking for fives here. I save two of them. Okay, that's four damage. Okay. So that kills Dose yep. because one had taken two wounds. Yep. And they're both out. Well, you could kill the one that's in. Do you want to kill the one that's close to him or this one back here? Uh, the one who's close to him is the sergeant, so I don't want to. Okay. Do that. So oh, we'll keep the sergeant out. Okay. Cool. So he's still full health. And then let's see what we can do with the fell claw. Fell claw is going to be threes and threes. Make one save, minus one rend. Four up. Failed it. That is two damage. So he's still alive with a wound. And final attack, spearing tail, twos and threes. Hits, wounds, minus three rend. Six, failed it. Two damage. He's dead. So he explodes. Explodes. No mortals to you. Okay. Combat done. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna snap off. We'll get onto the hero cam and we'll let you know how many points Michael scored. So we're back from Stormcast turn. <laughs> you sound uh, so somber. Yeah, we're I back. feel like we're, we're back from the. I feel like I'm letting them down. You know, there's Stormcast fans out there who are screaming at the at the YouTube channel right now, being like, "Why didn't you do this?" I'm like, I know. <laughs> Why just... didn't you take fulminators, <laughs> man? Why didn't you take more long strike crossbows? I feel it. You know, even with more long strikes, though, he, he would dark master them, and I'd still be in a weird. Yeah, you'd have to break him into three man units, really. Um, um, so yeah. with the double turn, 
I scored one additional point. Mm -hmm. So I'm only up to uh, eight points, and you're at ten. Mm -hmm. I didn't score my battle. I didn't do my battle tactic because the Grand Hammers died. Yeah. Um, I'm, I only have one point. Yeah. I failed most of my charges that I needed to do. Um, so we're getting into your turn. We're going for straight up decimation um, here. We're yeah. gonna see. I'm gonna see how much work these uh, these corn demons can do, and uh, we'll get right into my turn. My battle tactic is going to be. You still can do broken ranks. You have multiple battle lines still on the table. Yeah, yeah. I'll do. I'll do broken ranks. And I'm gonna pick this unit right here. Okay, yep. It's gonna be hard because they're annihilators, but I'm going for it anyway. I'll still score one, two more. So, and I have a low uh, probability of losing a monster. So that should be pretty good. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll try to do broken ranks on those chunky annihilators over there. And then for my battle tactic, or for my heroic action, I think I will do Heroic recovery on this guy over here. No, let's do finest hour with my general. Okay. You don't have to roll for finest hour. I just like to roll dice, man. It does Le not go off on a three up. Le leave that in. <laughs> finest hour failed. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so the, so my general has finest hour. What are you gonna do for your heroic action? Um, I will, I'm going to finest hour with the Lord Imperaton. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I, I'm never going to get over there. Nope, He's like, you can't kill me. There's no point. He's like, kill my minions and I will zip back to Azer and drink. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Let's do some casting. Okay. I am going to cast Master's Command on myself. So if Velcor dies, pile in and fight. Nice. Goes off with a nine. You've got an unbind right here. Hoop. Hoop. Nate. Okay, so he's got the master's command. Sounds good. And then he's just gonna give himself Mystic Shield. Just kidding. Uh, he will give Mystic Shield to my general. Cool. That goes off with a 10. Yep. Um, these guys are still empowered, right? They got yes. the power off? They got okay, power off. Okay, sounds good. That's the end of my hero phase. I'm gonna move my entire army across the board and uh, we'll be right back. All right, David, walk us through your movement phase. Bellacor is locked in combat. I brought over three little blood letters to put in work. Just kidding. I don't know. I just moved them closer just to bodyguard for him. And then my general is deciding which way to charge. Not quite sure yet. I have two demon princes getting ready to charge into the annihilators. Fight first. And then I've got my bloodthirster of incensed rage right here, ready to charge into the raptors. Flesh Hounds to soak up that Unleash Hell. And then over here, the Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage and a unit of Blood Letters that just walked. I tried to summon with him so I could get something within nine inches to charge the Lord Imperitant, but he is safely hiding over here next to the dice box. So this guy right here is gonna do Hellfire Breath and he's gonna breathe fire onto this unit of Annihilators that's next to Bellicor. Then he's gonna swing that crazy flail and he's gonna try to hit this unit of Annihilators over here. That's all the shooting I've got. So let's start with the Hellfire Breath. Going into the Annihilators by Bellicor, it goes off. And the Annihilators take two mortal wounds. Okay, now he's gonna unleash the glory of the flail and probably miss, three to hit. Three to win. Misses. Nice. Done shoosting. Let's do some charges. The first charge I'm going to do is those blood letters. They roll an 11, and they're just going to get the heck out of the way. And then my general. Actually, let's wait on the general. Let's go with the Demon Princes. Demon Prince closest to the terrain piece. He rolls a three. It's not good enough. And he's just going to stand there. No, I'll reroll it for a command point. He gets an 11.
Now the other one, it's going to charge. Misses with snake eyes. Oh no. <laughs> and then <laughs> now I got to get a big charge with my general. He did finest hour. Uh, he might have just wasted it. Let's see what happens. He rolls a seven. Not, not, not uh, good enough there. Yeah, I don't think so. No, that's an eight. So that's an eight. Okay. Well, he's going the other way. So much for my battle tactic, huh? Mount your charge, Bloodthirster. With a 10. Whee! I mean, he can't go there, David. <laughs> he can't possibly fit. Stop measuring things precisely, OK? Uh, that is the end of my charge phase. Let's do some monstrous actions. OK. The first monstrous action I'm going to do is stomp. And I'm going to stomp into these little guys here. They get stomped. Two mortal wounds. OK. And, and then over here, I'm going to roar at the annihilators. They get roared. So no commands from the annihilators from afar. And did you want to charge over there? Yeah. You definitely wanted to charge with the oh. charge with the flesh hounds first. Okay. Charge with the flesh hounds. Retro. Char charge with the flesh hounds. They get a five. Um, screw it. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna unleash hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get those hounds. Four to hit, twos to wound, and then they just implode because they have no save. Fours. Nice. All right. Okay, one implodes. Oh wait, hold on, I have a ward. <laughs> one implodes. <laughs> Great. Those cool. flesh hounds, MVP. Uh, okay, now the, now the incessant rage guy going in. He gets a five, it's good. Okay. Your activation. What do you want to do? Uh, first of all, I'm going to fight with the demon prince that charged because he always fights at the start of the combat. Okay. So I've got four attacks with my sword. I'm plus one to hit because I charge, so it's threes and threes. If I roll a six, it does two mortal wounds and the attack sequence ends. So two misses. Two mortals, mm -hmm. and then nothing else. Okay. So that guy explodes. He wasn't close enough. Okay. And then uh, twos and threes with the malefic talons because I charged. So everything hits. Make two saves, no rend. Two ups. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Why, nice. why did I even attack with the talons? Okay. And then uh, for my first real activation, I'm going to activate the Bloodthirster of Incessant Rage. And I don't have any more command points, so it's just fours. He is rerolling ones because he charged. Okay. Everything does not hit. I mess with two. Twos. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's uh, that's eight mortal wounds. That's eight mortal wounds. To every enemy unit, so that kills the unit of annihilators, and then you've got eight mortal wounds onto those guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, Outrageous carnage for the win. Yeah, that one annihilator explodes. All right. We'll do ten attacks, three mm -hmm. and threes. Uh, everything's going into Bellacore again. Yep. You might kill him. He has to pass his wounds one at a time. Threes and threes. Rend one. I ignore that rend. Oh, that's right. On fours. I fail all three. Uh, I have to pass these one at a time. So fail one. Six to ignore. One guy is dead. It was six damage. Right. Yeah. That was the second damage. Okay. And I have four more damage to try to pass. I'm doing yeah. this because I only have a certain amount of models. On a six, three more damage to go. Doesn't pass it. On a six to Bellacore, he fails it. He takes a, a, a damage. 
Okay, two more. Bellacore takes that one, and then he passes the other one, and the guy dies. My general, I uh, failed to talk about earlier because he's never been in combat yet, he has the fourfold blade. So he is threes to hit, twos to wound because of finest hour. If he rolls an unmodified five to hit, it does D3 mortal wounds and the attack sequence ends. So on threes, and he, wow, he did absolutely terrible. And then two, you got one save, negative two. Saved it. Okay, of course you did. Beautiful, your activation. What are the, what are the long strikes, uh, let's do this. Going in, you've got two guys in and then you can do zappies with them and you're wounding on twos. Four attacks apiece. Four attacks apiece plus Three. the leader, so you've got 13 attacks. Uh, the leader's super dead. Oh, the leader's dead? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then twos. So four minus one. Uh, he is not the one with Mystic Shield. He fails two. And then he's got a six up ward. And he shrugs one. So he's suffered two wounds. And then zaps on four ups. Three zaps. Three mortals. Okay. Sixes. Shrugs one, takes two more damage. He's suffered four. He lives. The other bloodthirster of incessant rage. Four is rerolling ones. Hold on, he's suffered lots of wounds. All right, so this bad boy here has suffered eight wounds. So he only gets four attacks with his blade. Fours rerolling ones because he charged and twos. That's four mortal wounds. Okay. And then three at negative two. Uh, so they're four up, so this is six ups. Mm -hmm. So fill them all. Seven damage. Uh, Plus four mortal wounds yeah. is 11. So all right. remove them. <laughs> These are some good looking long strikes. Who painted these? We both painted them. That's a trick question. Okay. Teamwork. Teamwork. What's right. next? Bellacore has five attacks with his blade because he has suffered 10 wounds. It's threes and threes. Three saves, make two. Tell them all. Six damage. Eight, eight explosions. Yeah, eight, back to you. One more. Okay. Target it with a six. Um, now we're gonna do fell claw, threes and threes. This is, and then we're gonna do spearing tail, twos and fours. Huh. Fours. Hits. Negative three. Oop. Failed it. That is two damage. Got a wound left. He's alive! Okay. Well, it's impossible to table a Stormcast Eternals army, so... Yeah, there's two more turns. I feel like it's quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... That was a... That felt like five battle rounds and it was only three. That was intense. Yeah, we got right into it. Okay. Uh, let's score it up and we'll see you guys on the hero camp. All right, everybody, we're here. It's the wrap up. We've called the game. David, what's the score? Uh, well, I scored six points on that last turn, battle round three. Hold one, hold two, hold more. I astonishingly got my battle tactic by getting outrageous carnage and uh, killing those annihilators, which was great. So that put me at 16 to your nine. Mm -hmm. And then we went ahead and gave him one more point for holding that last objective with the Imperitant. Obviously, uh, he only had a few models left on the board, so um, he would have maxed out at 10 and missed his grand strategy. And then I would have ended up uh, full points with the grand strategy. I would have ended up with 26. Right. Uh, right? 26. 29. 
29. 29. Yep. So the final score is 10 to 29, uh, doing a little bit of brain hammer since we didn't play the last two battle rounds. And uh, that, was, that was quite a game. I think that the Legion list was a little bit stronger than we thought it would be just because of the debuff and some of that sweet, sweet mortal wound output uh, from, the, uh, from the Bloodthirsters. So they played quite well. Uh, what's your kind of thoughts on the army that you brought today, Michael? Um, so it needs more raptors. Needs more raptors. <laughs> needs more fulminators needs more and a Lord Relictor. Um, I think I was too defensive. I yep. think that's what it comes down to. I think yep. I think I should have been more aggressive, pushed harder uh, turn one uh, or mm -hmm. turn two. I allowed you to go because I was like, nah, you're castled up. You're going to have to come out, out to me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I wanted you to break the castle. Uh, but instead, I, I just kept losing units sure, at, sure. A, at a rate that I, I wasn't I wasn't push, doing any damage. Uh, so I think if I had pushed a little bit harder, a little bit faster, um, and dictated the tempo of the game, yeah. Uh, yeah. then I could have kept scoring points. I could have kept in it. Maybe I was losing uh, units, but I would have been dictating tempo. You dictated the tempo of the game. I had to keep responding. Mm -hmm. And then when you start failing charges, sure. you know, the game starts falling apart. And that is my biggest problem with this style of list is a seven inch rerollable charge is really good, right? That's yeah. like an 80 something percent chance. Until it isn't, right? Until, but an 80, a seven up rerolling is not a good battle plan. Yeah, and we've you seen know. this multiple times just in, you know, we filmed like a dozen battle reports now. We put the Annihilators in probably three or four of them. That happens like once a game. Yeah. Like I can't imagine taking a list with just Annihilators to a GT, even mm -hmm. though the Grand Hammers are ridiculous and you can pair them with Raptors and make a really, really strong list, it's really, really strong one out of four games. So if right. you're playing a five game GT, that's going to bite you at least once. Um, obviously, swapping out the Praetors, Evocators, you're going to be able to play a little bit stronger of a game, but I like the Spice. I, you know, and when we were looking at this list on paper, it looked like it was very evenly matched. Um, and I think it could be. I think I just play it a little differently, be a little bit more aggressive. Um, I still think it has the right tools to be a fun list, mm -hmm. um, but it kind of fell apart pretty early, and then I was yeah. I was constantly on the back foot. Right, right. Uh, yeah. So who's your MVP of the game? My MVP is going to be that bloodthirster of incessant rage who hopped over the train, rolled double sixes, did eight mortal wounds to both the evocators and the annihilators, and just which blew is everything up. Fantastic. So I got my battle tactic. I'd already given up on it, and I got an extra point for doing it with a monster. So that was great. Bellacor uh, in a very close second because he soaked up a strike from the Meteor, Grand Hammers, and the Annihilators with the shields. They both were buffed. And he handed off most of the wounds, still had only suffered eight. He still had six wounds left. I mean, he's just an absolute tank if you're spiking those fours. Mm -hmm. If you're spiking his fours to save, which are non-rendable, and you're passing off the wounds, he lasts for a long time. Uh, so you can almost just put him in the front of the castle and be fine with that. As right. long as you have two units of chaff behind to pass the wounds off to. So that was good. Uh, I'm going to give LVP to my demon prince who you knocked down to one wound and then he just hid like a coward for the rest of the game. He really? himself. LVP because of lack of better options. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I mean, what else did I pick, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I guess I could say those blood letters are LVP because they died immediately in the first battle round, right? Yeah. Um, Trash. Yeah. You <laughs> suck. Um, my LVP is the Evocators. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mostly because um, they. Because <laughs> they just suck. They, just <laughs> <laughs> they have to just. They had to stand back here on this, this uh, objective. Um, they took forever to get anywhere, and when they finally yeah. did, they did nothing. Yeah. You know, so it's it's just not enough to justify their their whopping 240 points. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. when yeah. 115 expensive. points of liberators would do the exact same job. <laughs> That's true. Better. That's the issue with this list. It's too elite. Yeah. It's like so if you were playing like Vice or something, yeah. where you could just smash in, or if we were playing like shifting objectives, mm -hmm. where you could just go. I teleport, I teleport, I teleport, and then I'm screwed, right? But when you have six, eight objectives, five objectives, like yeah. some of these battle plans, this is a really hard list to play. Or what well. happens when it's the mission where it's fatigued warriors? Yeah. <laughs> you're just Oh, well, now your whole <laughs> army is just going to not be able to be in reserve. Yeah, you're, that main, the one thing that this army does, you don't have yeah, to do anymore. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Um, but I still had fun. Uh, it, it was still a good game. Um, 
I learned a lot. Uh, I do want to take this army list out again, maybe with a couple tweaks, mm -hmm. and see uh, if it if it can stand on its own. And uh, yeah, I look forward to bringing it out again. Wonderful. Well, that was one hell of a game. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who stuck around and watched our wrap up. Uh, what are we going to play for our next battle? You know, I don't know. I'm I'm going to record another game of 40k. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be Necrons versus uh, White Scars, I think. Excellent. Well, if you guys are into 40K, keep an eye out. We're going to be putting out 40K content. Mainly Michael is because he loves that game as well. So that'll be really exciting. I think I want to bring my cities list out again mm -hmm. for, for Sigmar. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've gotten a good battle report in with them for a while. No, they've been mixed in with other things, but just like my actual cities, cities list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that would be good to maybe take Slaves to Darkness against them because they have... Chunky saves, mm -hmm. mortal wound shrugs, stuff like that. I know so, you and I have played that match, but I don't think we've played that match on, on, on camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that'd be pretty fun. Michael just got done painting a whole mess of Slaves of Darkness models. Oh, yeah. They're all over the place. Uh, we got Yeah, we got, we got Sick Chaos War Shrine. We got We've got the monsters. Manticore. Yep, Pink Manticore. Oh, yeah. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we play uh, Cities of Sigmar versus... Uh, versus That'd be great. Slaves of Darkness. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'm not scared. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, thank you so much for tuning into this battle report. Please like and share if you know anybody else that loves watching quality battle reports. And we'll see you for the next battle. We'll see you guys next week.